is the feast of St. Paul of the Cross. Born in Italy, 1694, died in, I want to say 1775. He started the Passionists uh, religious order. He was confirmed at the age of 25, which was normal for that time, but he was baptized at age three. Uh, he had 16 brothers and sisters, I believe, and only 10 of them, or 10 of them died in infancy. He had a brother and an uncle who was a priest. At one point he had what they put as, quote, a conversion. Um, at one point in his life, when he was, let's see, 16, 17, when he was about 23, he went to, ah, what was that? Fight the Turks in the crusade, in a crusade, but he came back as, uh, dedicated to the religious life. Uh, his uncle gave him a large amount of money, which he gave away to the poor. He gave him his inheritance or something. Uh, and the only thing he kept was, was the uncle's breviary, the priest uncle, uh, his breviary. He gave all the money. He refused the money. Didn't say he gave it back, but he refused it. So he must have given it to the poor. Um, he was known for his spiritual direction. He was known to uh, soften, what was it? Soften hearts. Harden, he was known to be able to affect hardened hearts of soldiers and criminals would weep at his preaching, cry at his preaching. I don't, want, I don't know if I want to use the word weep. It makes me think of Tim Walls weeping somewhere. Or what was that other freak? Um, that comedian, Josh Gad. I think, I think he was the one who said, I wept when I had to tell my children that, I think it was when Hillary Clinton didn't win the election. Oh my gosh. How do you know that a man is not a man? Oh, now we know that there is such a thing as transgender. How can you tell when a man is not a man? When he tells you that he wept because, I believe it was Clinton, didn't get elected because a woman didn't get elected and he couldn't tell his daughters that there was a woman president. That's how you can tell that a man is not a, what a, yeah. Whether a man is a man or not. Um, yeah, that couldn't be, he's gotta be one of those men for Kamala or whatever you call it. What are we looking at, Gus? You're sensing there's a fox around, I believe. Uh, yeah, so St. Paul of the Cross, what else? He, uh, um, okay, I don't know what you think. Oh, shit! Gus, no! Gus, no! Gus, no! Okay, well, I did not see that coming. Well, I guess this video is not going out. Gus, come! Gus! St. Paul was Italian, not French, but pardon my French there. I did not see that coming. Gus! Well, and there he goes with the leash on. Hopefully he doesn't get tangled up in a branch. Gus! I did not see that coming. Well, the fox is out of the bag. Occasionally I have Bad land. You know the... Uh, Gus, come on. Come on back. Come here. Gus. For some reason... Gus, come here. Gus, come. Come, sit. Come here. Gus. He's not done. He is definitely not done. Come on, Gus. Come here. Come on, Gus. Gus, come. Gus. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on, Gus. Come here. Come on, Gus. Come. Gus, over here. Come on. Hey, come. Come on, Gus. Come here. Gus, come. See how well trained. Gus, come. 
dog is not trained. <sighs> Gus! Gus! Come here! Hey! Gus, come here! Now! Gus! <sighs> Did I go stuff on that? Oh. Okay, come on, Gus. Come here. Here, sit. He's gone. Come here, Gus. Where'd you go? Gus! Gus! Gus, sit! Gus! Gus, come here! Gus! And he's off. How do we... How does it... Hey! Wait, is that him? Gus, come here! Something's moving there. Where's that wind? Oh, there it is. Gus, I do not want to walk into a bee's nest. Come here. Come here. Come here, Gus. This could be dangerous. Are you stuck? Or am I going to walk into a fox? Oh, what happened? You're not even stuck. What's wrong? Come here. here. What's wrong? You don't even want food? What happened? That was weird. Come on, now we're going this way back because you are not supposed to be here. <sighs> Something smells funky. So, St. Paul <sighs> of the cross started the Passionists. And uh, what else? Yeah, that was weird. He just stood there like he was frozen. So I assumed his leash got stuck. But it didn't. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, that was fun. So, uh, St. Paul, uh, Passionists, uh, they're still working today. They call their monasteries the retreat. And, um, there were like 10 of them, 10 retreats, in other words, monasteries, and 180 of the when the Pope made it a congregation, there were 180 members. So about 10, no, there was 18. So it was like 10 men per monastery or 18 per monastery. Um, and they still exist today, the Passionists. So let's ask St. Paul of the Cross to pray for us and the patron saint of not using bad words. Oh, yeah, what I was saying was the other day, I don't know what I did. I don't know how this happens, but some reason I blurted out an inappropriate word, but it was in Spanish. It was a Spanish inappropriate word. And I'm pretty much gringo. Of course, I was adopted, so maybe, maybe. I got a little spit. See, now, usually when I let him in this... This, this uh, garden, I let him loose so he can walk a little bit, but now I'm a little nervous about doing that. 
Now I gotta pee much. See, because there's a hole underneath the fence here. Ah, <laughs> I don't know what you think. Oh, you just want to smell where the fox was. That's what it is. You want to catch some fox smell. Okay, so let's ask St. Paul of the cross to pray for us and all the saints to pray for us. Uh, and yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes I blurt out if, if a bad word is, is the inappropriate thing to do. I blurted out in Spanish. What's that all about? 